Is it possible to hit Legend with a 100% win rate? Yes and no. Hearthstone has a problem. A botting problem. Such a problem that someone was able to take a Shaman list going 56 and 0 with a 100% win rate Legend climb. But I'll tell you right now, these numbers are not indicating that this deck is any more broken than other decks in Hearthstone. In fact, the reason why he was able to go 56 and 0 in the first place was because of how many bots there are playing Hearthstone in Classic. Which means any Classic deck that can beat bots technically has a 100% win rate. Luckily, this problem isn't as apparent in the wild and standard formats, but there have been some conversations about standard players finding more bots at a lower MMR. However, for the sake of this video, we will be looking at Hearthstone Classic because I actually managed to take an entire stream, about 7 hours of my time, to go from Bronze 10 to Legend, to see if it really was as bad as some people were saying. It was as bad as people were saying. During my grind in Classic, I managed to go 64 and 3, but two of these games I will be excluding because one of my losses was against the Mirror, one of my losses was due to a blatant misplay, and there was actually only one game where I went up against a real person that I actually was able to lose a game, and that was, I believe, against a Zulok. But case in point, Aggro Shaman is definitely not the best deck in Classic right now, it's just one of the best ways to counteract the decks that you'll be seeing the most. What decks are you seeing right now? Decks that are absolutely filled with the worst cards. And by the worst cards, I mean the worst cards. It is kind of unfortunate if, a, if an entire format is nothing but bots. Because then like, oh my dear god, what? Oh no. Is it really this easy? Just concede the boar has no ca- <laughs> Oh my god! Bot decks are one of two, basic cards are Zulok. Oh! <laughs> Why is this working? I, I would not be surprised if- <laughs> Oh my god, the ultimate synergy! <laughs> he actually could have put me to 5 HP, dude. He actually could have put me to 5 HP. <laughs> The decks that these bots are using are all filled with cards that you get for free. So there's actually no real win condition in these decks outside of just playing minions and hoping that they can somehow hit face. And the worst part about this is that the bots are very easy to spot. Not only does their deck contain cards that no real human would play, but they often have names that look like they're randomly generated. And the way that these bots play out their turns definitely looks like someone is taking their time or has no idea what they're doing with the game. But if you're playing Classic, odds are you loved old Hearthstone and you're definitely familiar with the format. So there should be no player that is staggering out their turns this obviously. But to go back to my climb, I ended up going up against 56 bots out of 70 games that I had played. And most of you are probably asking yourself this question. Why would anybody bot an account in Hearthstone? What is the point? The first example that comes to mind is people just blatantly selling accounts that have level 60 heroes. Even though this is technically not allowed in the Blizzard Terms of Service, there are definitely lots of people that still engage in these quote-unquote underground video game sales. But I recently learned of another reason why botting is so common in Hearthstone. And if you guys have any wacky conspiracy theories that you think explains all the botting in Hearthstone, feel free to leave your suggestions or your conspiracies down below in the comments. But one quote-unquote conspiracy that I was told a lot when I was streaming on Classic is that people bought these accounts in order to try and get enough gold to draft the perfect arena deck. Once that perfect arena deck has been drafted, they will then sell the account to somebody that actually wants to play arena with the best deck possible. And it's literally just for the enjoyment of arena. But if this underground community of arena players is really just botting classics so that way they can enjoy the game a little bit more, I think this underlies a different problem with arena, not just with classic. But I'm not going to speculate on that because I cannot 100% confirm that this is actually what's happening with these players that are botting these accounts. But nevertheless, I am including it in this video because I think it's a really interesting explanation that explains why anybody would bot in Hearthstone. Because if someone isn't selling these accounts for a monetary gain, I just don't understand why a player would spend so much time having a bot do these grinds when it really doesn't gain them anything. But I guess some people just like to enjoy Hearthstone one way or another. The last quote unquote conspiracy that I have is that botting at Hearthstone is extremely easy and it's a good way for players to try and get an experience with coding or using bots in general. 
I imagine that programming a bot in Hearthstone is not all too difficult, so it wouldn't surprise me if people just use this for easy practice, but at the same time, it still doesn't explain why there are so many of these bots. There can't be this many people that are just trying to learn coding as a hobby. But for the rest of this video, I will be showcasing some of the fun games that I had on my grind in Classic. Granted, I only went up against 13, 14 real players, and most of those games will be featured up ahead. But I thought it'd be extremely interesting to share with you guys the 100% win rate deck in Hearthstone, even though it probably will never actually be 100% truthfully. And don't forget everybody, if you do enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified about any of our future updates. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video, and we'll see you for the next one. I mean, I'm not like annoyed with Standard, but I needed a break from it, you know? I needed a small break from Standard. Want to practice against a non-tech uh, control warrior? Okay, you wanna know what, Joshua? Joshua, the moment we lose, the mo if we end up losing, I'll play you, okay? So that way, we have something to look forward to, and I plan on streaming, like, all night tonight. Like, I plan on streaming, all like, until we hit Legend, honestly. So, uh, we'll have a long stream tonight. So we'll it'll happen at some point. I promise we'll, we'll do one game. Because it actually does sound fun to play, um, a classic matchup. Like, one of my, one of my favorite matchups, honestly. But, like... Contro like, Control Warrior mirrors are what made me fall in love with Hearthstone. So many things made me fall in love with Hearthstone. Giants, uh, Force of Nature, Savage Roar, when I was the Druid. One of my, one of my very first golden cards, one of my very first golden cards ever was Force of Nature. So that's why I became a Degenerate. You guys understand now, right? Okay, I need to deny, um... I need to deny his card draw. Now, now we know. Now you know why the combo, why the combo started, is because I was given literally combo druid on a silver platter. I had a fully golden face hunter. Ah, oh, the good old days. See, I remember back in the day when, like, okay, so in my in my town in my city, they had some Hearthstone tournaments, and I and I went to those said tournaments, and um, I did pretty well at a few of them, and there was one that I hit second at. But I needed first place because it was a tavern hero. God, uh, I, I've told this story a lot of times, but it was during the, the the grand tournament meta. It was during the grand tournament meta. And uh, I got the pleasure of playing uh, at, a, at a local event. Unfortunately, they didn't have enough players, so there was one person that an admin had to call, at, uh, had to call upon for them to play at home so that way the tournament could happen. And well, to make a long story short, it ended up, uh, that guy who played at home was the only person that beat me, and he beat me twice in a double elimination tournament. So, I lost to him in, like, um, the, the, the third round, and then I climbed all the way to the finals, got out of the loser's bracket to fight that guy in the finals, and then I lost to a top deck consecration at the wrong time. One of the most frustrating experiences in Hearthstone that I can remember. Man, was was I was I so lucky and bad, so unlucky and bad. The good old days of tavern hero events, dude. I want to bring back tavern hero somehow. I don't know how, but I would love it if there was like a way, like not like worlds. I don't want this to be like a worlds thing where it's like let's get the best players and have them you know play for like a world cup. No, what I want is like like an invitational tournament or like some kind of tournament that people can sign up for. You win, and if you win, you like the representative for like your country or whatever. Invite all these people, bring them to Blizzard, and then have have them duke it out. That would be an awesome event. But I I would love for like a tavern hero or something that would encourage local events to prioritize something like that. Are they ever bringing back BlizzCon tournaments? Ah, uh, maybe. I think BlizzCon's making a comeback this year, right? I'm not 100 percent sure about that though. I think I think they're they're planning a lot of big stuff though. How come you haven't done any show matches lately? Um, because number one, uh, I need to finance those. I don't have the money to be making show matches happen. Number two, uh, th I, there might be some interesting decks to have like go up against each other, but it's it's mostly just because I don't have prize money to, to secure it. I, I would want to uh, encourage people to uh, to have like you know some sort of positive incentive. You know, like, I, wa I want them to play it seriously, and here's the, uh, the, the motivation to play it seriously. Here's some money. Here's some money, kid. <laughs> Alright, um, so is this the time where I 25% to make a 50% not happen? See, like, and that's the big question, like, who would, who would I get in the next one? 
I feel like if I were to just come up with a match right now, it'd probably be Pocket Train versus Meaty. Oh! Oh, I'm so good! Never need the spell damage totem, dude. You never need it. All right, come on, dude. Give me Doom Hammer and this game's over. Wasn't that weird guy financing them for a while? He literally only financed two, and then uh, we had some complications. So I, I ended it there, and I financed the other ones that I did. But it's... It's difficult to, uh, to, to, to organize. And it's just easier for me to focus on other bits of content. Okay, dude, come on. Do Doomhammer where? If he doesn't roll Taunt Totem and I top deck Doomhammer, it's over. This is why I want two Doomhammer. Am I sick of Standard? Didn't expect to see a classic gamer. I'm, I'm sick of Standard right now. I'm not, like, annoyed with it to the point where I don't want to play it. Oh my god, we lost. Guys, we're gonna lose. Wait, no, we're gonna lose! No! But we're gonna lose to literally the same deck. So does it count? It's li it's it's the same deck. I don't have AoE, dude. Oh my god, I'm actually dead. I'm going to die. We are literally going to die. What happened? We are literally going to die. Okay. Um. So he drew the Doom Hammer. I did not. Not not fair game. Not fun and interactive. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I said 100% win rate right before this. You really don't need Doomhammer that bad to win. I mean, in this situation, I did. But I, I do agree with you. You don't always need it. I mean, what I need is a third lightning storm. Let's be honest. Oh, there there it is. There there it is. A couple, couple turns too late. I guess I could have done this, and it, and it, and it would have been a better shot. In all honesty, that, that was 100% the play. That was actually 100% gig of the play, but we're 100% dead no matter what we do anyway. Big yikes, man. Well, I mean... Okay, so now I, I, I have to do this. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now that, now that I've added that little caveat, I only promise 100% win rate versus bots can help you if other people net deck this. It's still a 50-50. Like, I remember a lot of, like, the early, uh, ideas, but I don't know which ones were actually implemented. But there was, like, uh, there was one invention where every single time your opponent hovered over it, they would take one damage. That was funny. There was literally an invention that would flip your opponent's game upside down, so they literally had to play Hearthstone in reverse. But then they quickly realized that that stuff's too good. I would love to see a legendary somehow, like, affect the board. Or it's like... I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, imagine how funny it would be just to switch your heroes. Like, you switch hero powers or something. I think that'd be kind of funny. Geblin Mechatork. More like garbage Mechatork. Okay, hold on a minute, dude. That card was legitimately powerful at one point, wasn't it? At the end of your turn, give a random minion plus one plus one. At the start of your turn, destroy this minion, draw three cards. Oh my god, they gave this the beast tag. They gave this the beast tag. Homing chicken now is a beast. Pulsarize at the start of your turn, transform a random minion into a chicken. Repair robot at the uh, end of your turn, restores six health to a damaged character. Oh, wait a minute. Not even not even your own. It could be your opponent. That could heal your opponent. Oh my god, low rolls. Okay, um, so I earth shock this, right? I get a 1-1 one -one that could trade into this. Yeah, I guess that's good enough. It's maybe a little bit unnecessary, but I need to play my Sengen Shieldmaster. And I know this card plays- I know this deck plays Power Overwhelming. Well, hold on a minute. No, that's not the reason to do that. Doesn't this deck also have, like, ways of buffing board outside Direwolf Alpha? Maybe I should have saved that for, like, an egg, but it's also just important for me to remove right now. The Taunt legitimately coming in clutch right now. That made me think he was a promo for GVG. I haven't seen him once. You've never seen him before? Like, legit never? I'm kind of surprised by that. Feral Spirits. This has to be Azure Drake. Because then I can clear and then I set up the Doom Hammer. Okay. Zero. Wow. I don't I don't think I've seen that card see play since the Grand Tournament came out. I might have saw it in GVG. Oh, God. Are we about to lose to Zoo? I need to hit Lightning Storm. 
probably have the Feral Spirit here. Feral Spirit into Loot Hoarder, play Leper Gnome or damage. I could waste both Lightning Bolts on it. Do I ever just trade Double Lightning Bolt into Feral Spirit, then Leper Gnome? Because I have Doomhammer ready to go? It might run Hellfire? Aw, oh, dude, don't tell me that. Okay, then that means that I need to clear this then. This is for sure happening. And this probably just needs to happen. Alright. If he's got Hellfire, I'll take the L. But if not, this wins the game because I'm out-tempoing the, um... The board deck. Oh! No! No! Oh, I'm ruined! Oh, I'm ruined! No! It's fine. It's fine. There's no taunts in this deck, right? Well, actually, hold on. There's Void Walkers. Duh. No! I can still win. Wait, I can still win this. He needs to hit. Hold on. Does Power only get plus five, plus five, or plus four, plus four? It's four, right? It's four. All right. Power Overwhelming doesn't do it. No, people don't play Power Overwhelming. Are you kidding me? Where, where's, where's the love for burst? And Locke uses it. I don't believe it. Oh God, Soulfire, Soulfire. Oh my God, let's go. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Hango Shaman. <laughs> I didn't even need the blood uh, the lightning storm, dude. I literally didn't even need the lightning storm. Oh my god, is this a real person? Is this a real person? Alright, so we'll keep the harvest golem, because harvest golem is the nuts. I keep getting my earth shocks, but not my Argent Squires. Feels bad. Sir, are you here? Oh no! I think it's a bot! Bot 28 is what he is! No, I thought we were gonna make a friend. Maybe I should do like a thing where it's like this stream ends once I once I fight a real person, and I might have to send in like a real person to save me at one point in chat. Stop the stream! It's been 80 years and I haven't fought a real person. I'm not safe. I need to stack some wins. Na, I stacked 30 plus wins on EU, dude. How free is is classic? How free is classic? It sounds so free. Oh my god, what happened here? Yo, calm it, calm it down there. Calm it down, mate. That hurts my feelings. I'm just that good. Ooh, man, love the confidence. What's the, uh, out of curiosity, what's the reason that you, uh, that you play classic? Because clearly it's like an achievement thing, right? Because there's no, there's nothing you get out of it. You just enjoy it that much. I didn't qualify for Masters Tour. Oh, dude, I, I have the field. I, I I can definitely relate to that. I uh, I qualified to, like, one Masters Tour. Uh, actually, no, I qualified. I think I did two. I did two Masters Tours. It was so goddamn stressful to be a part of it. But I, I would do it I would do it over any day, man. I would I would do it over again. I love competitive Hearthstone. I want to be a part of more more tournaments. But tournaments don't want to be a part of me. As I... Cry. Okay, this guy's beating me because I can't find my lightning storm. Is this because of my, my keep? Because I kept flame tongue totem without a one drop? Could do this instead of playing this. I guess this technically didn't do more. It was probably better just to play the Argent Squire. At first I thought I was gonna like value trade and keep the minion alive, but I need to value my HP a little bit more. Am I about to lose to Zoo? I need to find like a well-timed lightning storm, but I think that time is gone. This taunt might buy me a little bit of time, but if he's got Doom Guard, ooh, or that. Oh yeah, yeah, that eats through, dude. I think we're about to lose if we don't top deck lightning storm in the next turn or two. Yeah, if I would have had the 1-1, uh, the one, one, it actually wouldn't have made that much of a difference. Yeah, I don't know if I can win this game. I didn't draw Feral Spirit. I didn't draw Lightning Storm. 
Did I mulligan incorrectly, maybe? Might want to tech an abomination. Do we tech it over the Senjin? Do we tech it over the Senjin shield master? Cause like a two, two damage AOE would be pretty sick right now, but I still don't think it'd be winning us the game. It's also it also wouldn't have been played. Wouldn't have happened this turn. Yeah, it looks like, dude, no! Oh no! 20 23 games for the uh for the aggro shaman to finally be destroyed. Does this mean that I have to play zoo now? Does this mean I have to play zoo? Oh man. It's a tragedy. Someone, uh, someone sound the trumpets. Wait, hold on a minute. Will I ever see a real person ever again? I'm surrounded by by uh, by robots. Mark Hamill? Mark Hamill is voice Skeletor? Wait, really? Or has he just like done it before for like a video? Skeletor. Oh my god, really? Is he really the voice actor of Skeletor that I've never known until now? Am I really just a big dum dum? Okay, Mark Hamill's depiction of Skeletor joins his voice work as the Joker in the Batman animated universe as the actor builds his reputation as a great content creator. Okay, he is not the original. Okay. I am talking about the mirror. I will get you next time, He-Man. That, that, that voice. I can nail that. <laughs> I, need, I need to get some water before I start, like, doing more of that. But, uh, yeah. I definitely have a lot of respect for the uh, original voice actor. I also have a lot of, uh, a lot of respect for, uh, Mark Hamill. Absolutely love, uh, like, voice acting is one of my passions. It's one of my passions, but it's not, like, something I actively, like, I, like, I don't have, like, a, portfo a portfolio or anything. I I'm really just, like, waiting for, like, an opportunity to maybe do something with it. But it's, like, I'm already doing so many other passion projects right now. Doing voice acting on top of it is just, it's just gonna, uh, divide my attention. So it's probably not the, uh, the play right now. But who knows, maybe if someone wants to give me some voice acting positions... Mmm, might make me kind of happy. Alright, I'm a little forced. I, I need to get some water. But, like, something I loved to do all the time when I was younger was goofy voices. I love doing goofy voices. It's so much fun. Maybe it's because I watched a lot of cartoons when I was younger. <laughs> but also it's because, like, my, 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 uh, my dad actually tried to, uh, build up a voice acting portfolio when he was, uh, when he was younger try to build up towards because he went to like uh conventions he would often like check out uh voice actor panels yeah it was fun dude botcon 08 we'll never forget that god 2008 was so long ago. god that was 15 years ago oh yeah yeah it was the last no rude Oh my god, this bot has no ma this bot has no manners. Wow. Alright, well he was chosen to have the uses here. No freaking manners, dude. How could you? Now I'm overloaded for no freaking reason. I'll just probably do this next turn if this is a uh, spell damage. Alright, damn. Alright, I'm gonna grab some I'm gonna grab some water real quick as this bot. Struggles to make a move. Oh, nope. Okay. Is it gonna trade? Alright, only traded once. Buy me a lava burst. Oh, there we go, baby. Wait. Oh! No! 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 <laughs> oh, no! Oh my god, she lost! Wait, no! 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 Shame upon my 
my family. <laughs> No! <laughs> Imagine if I went to just go grab my water! Oh my god! Imagine if I just came back! <laughs> he talked to He talked to Oh my god! Oh <laughs> my